this is a demonstration video for my final year project and it's about wireless power transfer system for portable electronics uh, this device here it's able to charge two portable electronics one mobile phone and the other is a tablet so I'm gonna place here the mobile phone see it start charging and place the tablet start charging as well now you can see here in the mobile phone uh, there's receiver connected to it I'm gonna show the circuit later on but first I'm gonna explain uh, how it works in theory if we have a coil and there's alternating current going through it uh, then it generates time varying magnetic field going out of it and if we place another coil here above it then this magnetic field gonna induce a voltage in the secondary coil uh, if we assume this is a transmitting coil and this is a receiver coil the induced voltage in the receiver coil will be used to charge a mobile phone to power uh, any device These are the transmitter coils that transmit power and this power can be picked up by the receiver coil connected to the device. Uh, there's object detection sensors near the, each transmitter coil to detect if there is any device above the coil. Uh, these transmitter coils are being driven by a class C amplifier. Class E amplifier consists of one MOSFET, a chalk inductor, capacitor between the drain and source, an inductor, capacitor, this is a tuning capacitor here, and then the transmitter coils. And the, the MOSFET is being driven by the uh, by a kind of voltage controlled oscillators. Here is the transmitter circuit. We have the voltage control oscillator that's controlled by the capacitor and a resistor. For now, the, the frequency is fixed to 125 kHz, and that was this frequency was found to be the resonant frequency that the uh, transmitter coils resonate at that frequency, where the maximum power can be transferred at that frequency. Uh, we have here the class E amplifier, here is the tuning capacitor which is part of the uh, resonance circuit and here is the MOSFET. The MOSFET is dri being driven by the MOSFET driver which gets the signal from the voltage control oscillator. Here we have a microcontroller to control the charging, either to start or to disable the charging process. Uh, and it's control the charging by controlling the base of an MPN transistor that's, that's isolating the ground of the voltage control uh, oscillator. So if, if it is on, the voltage control oscillator is on else it's off and so the charging is off this is our RF receiver module here it receives data from the transmitter module on the secondary side the transmitter module on the secondary side transmits data regarding to the current char charging current so if the charging current is high that means the battery level on the device is low but if the charging current is low, that means the battery is fully charged or near to be fully charged. So if the battery is fully charged, then the controller, microcontroller needs to stop the charging process by the process explained before, which is controlling the MPN transistor. Here is the receiver circuit. This is the receiver coil and it's connected in parallel with a capacitor to form a resonance circuit. 
Uh, this resonant circuit uh, resonates at 125 kHz. Then the voltage and current are being rectified by a full wave rectifier. And then the voltage is regulated to 5 volt, uh, which is required for the two devices I have chosen. The current then passes through a current sensor and then to the load. The current sensor read the current and report it to the microcontroller and then the microcontroller send the data to the receiver module I have shown before through the data transmitter module. Here is the receiver circuit. You can see it's pretty small. Uh, the receiver core will be connected here and the output is here and this is connected to the a connector that will be connected to a device. Here is the RF transmitter module that will send the charging current uh, to the receiver module uh, shown before. Here is the charging current sensor. The charging current sensor will send the data to the microcontroller and the microcontroller will transmit that data through the transmitter module to the receiver module. 